Good evening, everyone. The man accused of threatening to shoot up the middle school in Horace reportedly told investigators. People sending him frequencies asked him to do it and said shooting 50 students would open a portal to a parallel dimension. This is according to court documents in the case of James Donnelly, now in jail, facing felony charges for the threats. WDAY News reporter Nick Broadway joins us live tonight with how deputies are handling the suspect's mental health issues and their first response, fast response, to secure our schools. Nick. Dana Kirsten, court records show 35-year-old James Donnelly sent a tip about himself to the FBI on Monday. They say Donnelly told federal agents he got a, quote, frequency asking him to shoot up the Horace Middle School. Deputies sprung into action as soon as they got the FBI tip Tuesday morning. They sent in extra deputies to secure Heritage Middle School and other rural Cass County schools. That raises some red flags for us, right, when we first get the tip because we don't know, could it be a diversionary tactic? Why would this person let us know um, where they're going? In about two hours, they secured the schools and arrested Donnelly at the roadway Inn where he was staying. Donnelly told investigators three people spoke to him through frequencies, asking if he wants to abuse babies or carry out a mass shooting. He went on to say the frequencies urged him to shoot 50 students at the school to open a portal to a parallel dimension where someone is trapped. We feel like there might be some, some mental um, health uh, perspectives to this, this investigation as well. They're working to get him professional mental help as the courts work to hold him accountable for threatening schools. Sheriff Johnner says threats like these are on the top of their minds since the July 14th shooting. He's now working to establish a threat management task force to deal with things like this. We're continually trying to evaluate these types of situations and figure out how we can get better, how we can increase our response times, how can we more thoroughly investigate. West Fargo Public Schools sent out a letter to parents today after many parents raised concerns about them not being notified about what happened until much later on in the day. School district staff say deputies told them this would be a quick arrest, so they did not feel a lockdown was necessary and they did not notify parents immediately. They declined our interview request today. Donnelly's due in court tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Nick Broadway, WDAY News.